very big welcome to all our incoming students to Presentation College Hedford and their parents. We would love to have met you all again in person, but unfortunately, on account of public health advice, that is not now possible. We, Deputy Principals Mr Ryan and Miss Jackson, and myself, Miss McAlpine, the school principal, are now going to be doing something new, our first time ever. We are sending you this remote message to help you prepare before you come to us in the new year. I am going to tell you a little bit about our school. We were founded in 1942 by the Presentation Sisters and the school building dates from the 1940s. We joined the Kesht Trust in 2008. We put a strong focus on our ethos, which is based on Catholic values in the presentation tradition. We very much promote our students being kind, caring, compassionate and inclusive. We focus on three pillars in our school community. Well-being, community and excellence in education for all. We try to support our students to be the best they can be, which is actually our school motto in all aspects of school life. I've talked to you about the fact that we are a school all about Catholic values in the presentation tradition. We are really focused on each and every one of our students reaching their full potential and being the best they can be. That means that we hope to create a happy and secure school for you and that our students really enjoy coming to school each day. We foster a love of learning and offer you lots of opportunities for your spiritual and moral development. We really try to focus on the individual finding out what you are good at, what you enjoy, what you like, and we try to set the bar high for academic excellence. But we do that for people at their own standard. What is excellent for one student might be quite different for another. We have great pride in PCH. We promote that our students have a strong sense of social conscience, That means that our students are aware of other people and those in need, that they get involved in helping others, in getting involved in charitable organisations and in doing their best to ensure that others' needs are taken care of in our society. We create a unique environment for a student to learn, to grow and to develop. We focus on well-being, community and excellence in education for all. These three areas combined help students to learn positively and to develop holistically. This means to develop in all ways, not only in academic areas, but on the sporting field, in your friendships, developing a social conscience and through all the wonderful opportunities you will be offered in PCH. PCH has lots of different partnerships, which help us to ensure that our students' needs are met in as fully a way as possible. I have mentioned already the sisters who founded our order, the Presentation Sisters, and we joined the Kesh Trust with 107 other schools. We have a board of management that is made up of parent, teacher and trustee nominees. We obviously have our students who are the core of everything that we do and our staff. We have very supportive parents. We have a wonderful past pupils network, many of whom who are actually teaching in the school and many are parents of our current students. And we have our local Hedford community, which we are very involved in. We have many strengths in our school. And one of our really core strengths is our wonderful student body. Our student voice comes through in our student council, on student committees, through our prefects, lantern leaders and lots of other committees such as the Green Schools and the St Vincent de Paul. We place a focus on student well-being. 
Our students work hard to reach their own potential academically. Our student body are very involved in ensuring that we have a holistic education that allows them to be involved in extracurricular activities, co-curricular activities such as football, soccer, hurling, basketball, badminton, camogie. We have a non-stop list for all our students. Another strength of our school are our structures. We have a very strong pastoral care structure. Each student has a tutor, a year head, an SEN link person and a deputy principal. We have a very broad and inclusive curriculum, including TY and LCA. We have an excellent communication system which is led by our school website, we encourage you to take a look. We have lots of collaborative systems which overlap with each other to ensure that our students are thriving, flourishing and doing well in school. I'm now going to hand you over to Miss Jackson, one of our deputy principals, who will let you know all about the year system in PCH. Pastoral care is very important to us here in PCH. Pastoral care means caring for the emotional, the social and the spiritual needs of our students. Here in PCH, we have lots of support structures that help us to do this. The first one of these is the year system. The names of the first year classes this year are Anya, Brida, Kiola, Dara, Aina, Agus Ferza. In your form class, there will be nearly 30 students. Some you might know already from primary school or from your local club and other activities outside of school. But there will be lots of new faces and friends for you to make in that class group. You will do a lot of subjects with your class. You'll have Irish, English, maths, history, geography. Everybody does these subjects together. And then for some of your other subjects, the options you've chosen, you'll be meeting new people separate to your class group. At break time, lunch time and during extracurricular activities, you will be with your own class group, but you will also get to meet other students in other first year classes. Here we have our ladder of referral. There are lots of people here in PCH to help your class group. Each class group has their own tutor, who is also their well-being teacher. This is a teacher who is dedicated to that class and meets them for one period a week. Your year head for next year is Mr. Sean Conlon. Mr. Conlon teaches PE and geography as well. He will work together with all of your tutors and your class teachers to make sure you are getting on well in every sense of the word. The year head, Mr. Conlon, is supported specifically by me, Miss Jackson, I help all the junior cert year heads to coordinate their year care circles or teams. Mr Ryan, the other deputy principal, looks after the senior cycle year heads and Miss McAlpine, the principal, looks after everybody. As well as the year system, we have wider support networks to help you. Ready to support you, we have your year head, a care circle for each group who meets each week to decide upon how students who could do with a little bit of extra support may be helped. And at reception at the front of the school, we have Margaret and Bernie always willing to help you. And upstairs we have Joan. Never feel afraid to knock on their doors. We also have our supervisors and caretaking staff, Ger and Bridie. We have an SEN team led by Miss Schalks. Each year group has their own special SEN link teacher. Next year, it will be Miss Garvey for our first years. We have three guidance counsellors, Miss Whitney, Mr Slattery and Miss Costello. Mr Slattery is the link guidance counsellor for the junior search students. We have our tutors, as already mentioned. And Miss Shocknessy also works as our chaplain. A chaplain is a teacher who works in supporting your spiritual development. She also coordinates the school's behaviour for learning structure. 
All of our students in PCH have different needs. So we look at how we can support students based on their level of needs. When you join us next year in PCH, we will have lots of supports to help you get started. First of all, there will be a special induction programme for first year students to help you get to grips with lots of new things that you will be meeting in secondary school. Your year team, consisting of your year head, Mr Conlon, and your different class tutors, as well as your sixth year prefects, will help you to find your feet in PCH. Your care circle will also be working away behind the scenes to make sure that you have everything you need to get going. Your tutors will be making sure that everything is going okay for you in wellbeing class. We are a health promoting school, so we pay lots of attention to wellbeing and to extracurricular activities. We are actually working towards getting our health promotion flag this year. We have a fabulous library and a special reading programme for first years. You will have lots of classes which will help you work towards your well-being. These classes are SPHE, CSPE, PE, RE and well-being. And maybe you're not sure of what those acronyms mean. So SPHE is your social, personal and health education. CSPE is your civic, social and political education. PE is your physical education. RE is your religious education. After you get going, you can get involved in all that PCH has to offer in extracurricular activities. And there will be lots of different things for you to get involved with at lunchtime or after school. There will be something to suit everybody's interests. And we will publish a timetable of all these activities as soon as you get started. Now I'm going to hand you over to Mr Ryan, who is our other Deputy Principal, and he's going to speak to you about the transition from primary school. The transition from primary school to secondary school is a monumental moment in the life of your child. It brings with it a mixture of great excitement and anticipation. But it is also coated with a tinge of trepidation. Here in PCH, we are cognizant of the complexities of such transition. We aim to ease the students into their new life in PCH. Over the course of the first number of weeks, the first year students will engage with our induction programme. Through this programme, students will become familiar with the campus and be introduced to key players, such as the year head, tutor and sixth year leadership team of prefects. We have designed our own induction programme and it is designed to help our students get to know all they need to know about secondary school. If you are feeling nervous, excited or just plain confused, this programme will be here to guide you. Before you know it, you will have settled in and become part of the fabric of life in PCH. Try your hardest. Keep going. Be inspired by others. Resilience. Embrace challenge. Make mistakes and learn from them. Work with others. Make an effort and persist. Try new things. We encourage you to have a growth mindset. It is our hope that a PCH student becomes equipped with the necessary tools and skills to navigate any challenges they may encounter. Through SPHE, Wellbeing, PE, Committees, Extracurricular Activities, students will learn to work with each other, try new things, be unafraid to fail, persist, become more resilient and embrace challenges. So what is a typical day like in the life of a first year in PCH? The simple answer is very different to what it looked like in primary school. There are three components to every day. Engagement with lessons, socialising well, enjoying extracurricular activities. The daily timetable. 9am, you will have arrived at school, books ready and off to class. From 10 past 9 to 10 past 11, there'll be three 40 minute lessons. 10 past 11 to half 11 will be break time. From half 11 to 1.30, there'll be three 40 minute lessons. 
From 1.30 to 2.10, it'll be lunchtime. From 2.10 to 3.30, there'll be two 40-minute lessons. This will happen on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. On a Tuesday and Thursday, class will run from 2.10 to 4.10. There will be three 40-minute lessons. So in summary, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, school finishes at 3.30pm. Tuesday and Thursday, school finishes at 4.10pm. Students will have nine lessons of 40 minutes on Tuesday and Thursday and eight lessons of 40 minutes on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. In some subjects, students may also have double classes so that they can engage in practical work. Break time is 20 minutes and lunch time is 40 minutes. Students wait on campus from first years to fifth year inclusive during break and lunch times. Students can enjoy extracurricular activities during lunchtime And as we already said, we offer something for everyone. First year subjects, core subjects, English, Irish, Maths, Religious Education, History, Geography, a language of French, Spanish or German, Science, Wellbeing, SPHE, CSPE, PE and Digital Citizenship. Optional subjects, Business Studies, Art, Home Economics, Technology, technical graphics, engineering and music. We are very proud of our broad curriculum in PCH. Over the course of three years, students will work towards attaining the key skills associated with Junior Cycle and their Junior Cycle Profile of Achievement Award. In years two and three, students will continuously be assessed through classroom-based assessments or CBAs. It is an exciting curriculum And it is our expectation that each individual will take ownership of their own learning with all the necessary scaffolding of support that we offer you in PCH. This is what a typical first year timetable will look like. Action packed and incredibly stimulating. Unlike primary school, where you have one individual teacher, students may have up to eight or nine different teachers in a day. Students move between classes to their next subject teacher so they get a chance to be mobile and refreshed. Initially, students can find it a little bit daunting to find their way around. However, through the induction programme and other supports, it is hoped that before long, students will find their bearings. And there is always a friendly student or staff member to help point you in the right direction. The extracurricular programme in PCH is second to none. We have a rich variety of activities that cater for all, whether you are sporty, musical or neither. And if there is a gap somewhere, suggestions can always be provided through the Student Council. Our extracurricular programme is constantly growing and responsive to students. Extracurricular activities also contribute towards your other areas of learning for your junior cycle. Take a look at our website and read our newsletters to get a better sense of the colourful life here in PCH. Usually before our students come to PCH, we get them to sit an entrance assessment. This year, we are introducing the Cognitive Ability Test 4, or the CAT 4 test. And this isn't a normal assessment where you get a result. This is just a way of looking at our students and seeing where their strengths lie, be it in literacy or numeracy or other different areas. This year, owing to the public health restrictions, we will reschedule these assessments for a time that is suitable for everybody. When students arrive in PCH, each will be given a school journal. We put a lot of time and effort into creating the journal so that it is useful for a student's education. The journal is the primary link between school and home. Parents are asked to sign the journal every night. Students write their homework in it every day and tick off work when done. It is important to encourage your child to get into good habits in this regard. Here in PCH, we have an excellent code of behaviour which is very positive in tone. It is restorative which means students are given every opportunity to be the best they can be and if they make a mistake or have an error in judgment with their behaviour, 
there is every support and help given to change the negative behaviour. We have a very clear ladder of referral. It is on display in every classroom and in every journal. We also have our 10 golden rules agreed by all members of our learning community. Good behaviour is a must. Persistent bad behaviour will not be tolerated as it impacts upon the teaching and learning process of everybody. The full school uniform must be worn at all times. Uniform is the first line in setting a standard so that students can learn in a safe, caring and disciplined environment. We ask for your full support in this. Unfortunately, it is not possible to handle phone queries at this time. We look forward to welcoming you all to Presentation College Hedford in late August or early September. We will link with you all during the month of August. In the meantime, keep an eye on our website and if you have any queries, email office at presheadford.ie. I wish you and your families a safe and happy summer.